Hi, my name is Wanda Kay, and I wanted to talk with you about how do you know when you're making progress. You know, when you're new at something, doesn't matter what it is, everything feels awkward. So you don't know always right off the bat if you're doing it wrong or if it's something you just need to practice at a little more. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Especially when you're the newest person there. I remember I had a job one time where every five minutes someone was stopping by my station to give me advice and I didn't know who to believe or who was giving me good advice or who was giving me bad advice. It was hard to tell. I was the new person. I didn't know any of these people. So you may be feeling some of that. Let me give you five quick tips. First, always be a student. You need to get a mentor. No matter what you're doing, where you're doing it, you need to decide who's knowledgeable, who here has a track record of being able to help other people achieve success. That's who you want to be listening to. They may not be at the top of the company, but if they can point to people they have helped along the way, that's the person you need to be listening to because they're a good teacher, they're a good coach, they're a good mentor. This may cost you some money, but believe me, your first bit of profitability, that's where you want to invest it. A mentor will save you so much time and money in the long run because you will not be wasting your time and effort on things that absolutely don't work. They can kind of clear the path and point you the way you need to be going. That's number one. Number two, understand that as you begin something new, you're going to face opposition. Whether it's opposition internally, you you're your inner workings is going to say, wait, we've never done this this way before, but that's okay because you want to change things. You want to get different results. So you're going to have to tell the little inside voice, come on, we're doing this a different way, but not just internally. Maybe you're going to have to shift priorities at home. Maybe you're going to have to juggle up duties and tasks and divvy up some things. That's okay. People aren't always going to be happy because you know what? People aren't always lining up with signs that say, yay, change. I love it. Uh, so expect that there's going to be some of that opposition. That's just you breaking the bonds of inertia and getting that momentum going on your way to success. You're stepping out of that comfort zone. So expect that it's going to feel a little uncomfortable. That part's normal. Then you need to understand that there are going to be people, be people who will not catch your vision. No matter how much you believe in them, no matter how much you see greatness in them, no matter how much you know they would be incredible at this opportunity, they're not going to see it and they're not going to get it. Accept that that's part of it. It's not a personal rejection of you. It's, a, it's an expression of their own limitations that they placed on themselves. If you really love this person, you will go for it. You will prove to them that this actually can be done and that will inspire them to take their first faltering steps. But sometimes you just got to be the person who jumps first and understand that. Don't take it personally. Don't mean, don't let it be a falling out where you don't go visit them on holidays. Instead, embrace them. Say, I love you. I appreciate you loving me and supporting me. I get it. You don't get it. It's not your time. That's okay. I'm going to run for the both of us and just go do it. The other thing is having a lack of resources will never be an issue for you. It will not be your problem. I know some of you are saying, you don't know my lack of resources. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by that is you need to not be focusing on your lack of resources. Instead, you need to be focused on what you do have. You have a tenacity. You have an ability to work hard. You have a dream and a vision. These are vital resources in your journey. Focus on those and ask yourself, what can I do to make this happen? How can I make this come to pass? Go for it and you will be so pleased with yourself but become a resourceful person. Look around you at the things you have and embrace those and say, I don't know how I'm going to get from here to there, but I'm going to take one small step in that direction each day. And in being a resourceful person, suddenly you'll find yourself one day with all the resources you dreamed of having. And finally, know that in order to reach your dreams, you're just going to have to bump things up to the next level. I know you feel as though I can't 
pedal any harder. I can't run any faster. I can't do any more work than what I'm already doing. And you're telling me I've got to take this up a notch to the next level. You know what? Sometimes it's just a little, little, little tweak, just a little tiny increment up. Just, you know, a little, a few more ounces on that weight you've been lifting. But if you'll do that, you'll find that your ability and your capacities are going to increase accordingly. So be willing to crank things up a notch, get really good at what you're doing and fitting it into the nooks and crannies of your life. I'll give this as an example. You notice my videos are recorded and that's because I live in a house full of guys. That means that at any point in time, a phone can start ringing, a dog can start barking, or someone can answer the phone in the next room and decide they need to talk loud enough for us to be able to hear on video. That's just part of life. And so I understand that I'm going to have to record one or two takes sometimes to get this going and up. But that's part of me taking it to the next level. So I hope you're encouraged to do all to take a look at all five of these things and ask yourself, am I just selling myself short or has this been part of me moving towards success in my endeavor? I hope that it's been an encouragement to you to not be waylaid, not just step back and say, well, this is frustrating. I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. No, keep going. Don't quit. It's just around the corner. I can feel it. And I hope this video has been a blessing to you. I hope you will like, comment, and share it with others. And I'll look forward to talking with you again soon.